Welcome everyone, it's Vapor Straker Mar. It's time for some more. Raid Shadow Legends as I gain 300k silver randomly. We are going to be continuing on our path to redemption. Um. Last time we were climbing our way towards glory. The rot men are active. Yes, the active rot men. And then we're going to turn them into a rank four food. Which we're eventually going to use to make another rank six. Um, better just buy these up because hell will need them. Um, upgrades. Let's, uh, try to get this ring to, I, uh, this is going to take a while. Okay, I've done enough attempts. Okay, so Arena. We're going to begin that shenanigans. Um... Hmm, I want to do something weird. But I'm going to do something more standard. I'm going to try this setup. Let's get that double speed boosting element that's really annoying. Huh. 
How does that spread? Does she have like a vizier like thing? Is that what it is? Is that is that what this is about? Okay, this is getting to be extremely annoying. I was not expecting this to be this annoying. I like how even the most basic arena teams in here can be shockingly annoying to deal with. Like none of these crud heads are even 60 yet and they're this annoying. Definitely want to decrease his turn meter. If at all possible. I don't know where he gets that much of a turn meter fill. Where the frick did he just get all that turn meter from? Really? Screw your turn meter, sir. Holy crap. What the fudge. Here, get provoked. Oh no, you resist everything, obviously. Obviously you have like, what, a thousand resist or some BS? Okay, thank God. Jeez. And then everything else is gonna be like a headache and a half. Like that. Anyway. Why not? Because we're going to need roughly 2k. To get the job done. All right, so basically So, in Arena, just because this team is obscenely annoying, I'm going to make something to counter it. How's this? All right. That didn't provoke who I wanted it to. Of course. 
course, you got your God Seeker in here. And more reses. God, even the most basic team in this is so annoying. Can I try to get him provoked? Perfect. Stop telling me about updates. Ever since that stupid... I have to kill this, this Seeker and Neary BS. God. Because I think that's what they're called. Seeker and Neary. The champ is busted. Shouldn't exist. And yet it does. I hate their team so much it hurts me and my soul. I needed to dogpile the other sucker first. At least I stuck it to the end. God, I hate facing Godseeker and Neri. Ugh, I needed to focus her first. And no one else... You know what? Screw it. I don't care about rank. Let's just face anybody that looks even moderately reasonable. I'm not saying we'll beat them. But... Because we most likely aren't. In all honesty, but I care more about gems and rank. So that's that's something that tells you something right there about how low I'm getting on resources in terms of gems. Because I don't have any opponents in this rank I can really deal with, so. Doesn't really matter. If I can get demoted, I can finally fight some people that are not ridiculously difficult. Yeah, let's get, let's get, let's just keep getting demoted. You know? That, I think that would be a good strategy. Just, just get demoted. So I can get back to people that have reasonable gear. I don't even know how this, this team comp works. By the way, I'm just making guesses as we go. How does that boost turn meter? 
Okay, you know what? Screw it. Uh, at this point, I don't even care. I just want to get my quest done. Just lose, get the quest done, and go back to Doom Tower, where it's easy. Because I'm sick of, like, rolling for better matches to try to... I'm sick of that. I can't do shit. Just just get me out of this rating, man. I don't want to be in this rating anymore. Just just get me out of Silver 4. Get me the frick out of here. Hell, I'll I'll challenge anything. Just get me out. Get me out of this wretched rating. Perfect. Get me out of there. Is there anything that's challengeable even? You know, I could do something nasty along these lines. <sighs> Hopefully, you never know. I'm amazed it didn't one-shot me. I can tell their Samar is not that well built when that's what they've got. Because 90% of the time, Samar does mad damage. I don't know why you target him, but sure. Well, I did something. And I got promoted instantly back to high elo. God damn it. Back to people I can't fight. It's wonderful. At least they didn't blow any gems doing it. All right. Back to Doom Tower where I can actually do something. Oh, Serena is so stupidly busted.
I don't want to have to like. It's like at that point, I just want to get that arena mission done. I don't want to worry about winning. Because there's not like there's almost no way of me winning any of it at this point. Every so often I get one I can win, but most of the time it just they have two good gear and two well made teams and everything, and I can't figure out what to do. I don't have a proper nuker or a proper block debuff champ. I'm I'm getting one going. Or fast enough speed gear. Like I just can't get a good enough arena team right now. It sucks. Doesn't matter what I pick, it's not gonna be that good. I mean, it might be if I can rank six enough champs, but that again takes energy and more losing at regular arena. That's what it's gonna take. The reason I'm targeting The reason I'm targeting the um some of these okay here we definitely want to get a provoke off immediately if we can here we want to go in no uncertain terms for the man eaters. You get that provoke, instantly go for the man eaters. Because the last thing I need is a permanent lockout. Because that that's what the problem with their team is. Because the thing about letting a man eater get his way is that it starts to get really disgusting really fast to get in there all right this is the fateful day the day of destiny for Drexthar this is it This is his day of destiny. Now the reason I'm using Haikatoon as a lead is I want to have some level of turn meter control, but at the same time... Like, as dumb as it sounds to just challenge Arena, even if it's, if I can't, if I'm not favored at all in there, I still, like, like, the, the reason that I do it even if I can't do most of it is because I try to make sure I keep pace with
with the arena missions and stuff and arena medals. Because unfortunately, that's part of this game. An arena gets harder, it, more gear requirements, the higher you go up. He's trying to do some stuff, these Crip Crane girls. But I'm about to do something nasty to this spider, hopefully. Say we get the burn going. I'm thinking Vizier could be good in this fight. Stop with the drivers. Oh my god. One thing I like. Maybe I get a provoke on him. How about this provoke? Okay. Oh, that's 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 nasty. Let's get some burn on these ads. Look, look how much this is doing to him over time. Like, just because these ads, you see, not only can we stop it, I've got other weird schemes in the mix. Like we could try an Armager with him as well. Yeah, I think I think we've got this I, I know this is gonna sound dumb, but I think we've got this this guy's number. As crazy as that sounds. You see how much damage we're dealing to it? Even if it occasionally Resists. Not only that, I never have to worry about it, you know, having uh, problems with dying. Because it will die this time. As long as Threxthar lives to the end of this fight. Which, it's a little tricky. But, I mean, I have a whole thing of protection just for him. So with any luck, that should give us an advantage. You know what else would give us an advantage? If I like develop the Dark Elhane and put it in here. Yeah, that, that could give us, because like, there's several versions of this team that we could run. 
One of them involves Vizier. Because what we could do is we could put Vizier in here. And then with Vizier, we could do something nasty. As you can see, Drexthar and the evolution has changed How amazed that isn't burning him. How much resist do you have? At any rate, this will be a new record if we beat it this way. But I've got I've got other plans for it. Yeah, the H the HP burn consistently is a godsend versus Sorath. Like this ma this big damage here is big. Cause even though it has a large health bar it's still a big deal to like I, I want to try like direct star with a with an armager in it because that's what I'm thinking will give me stellar results versus this boss that's what I'm thinking Although this is already better than the previous version because I'm no longer um, dying. Nobody's dying. On top of that, once we get to the end, he'll just be finished. And there will be no, aha, we needed to block the ra revive. Can we... Land the revive. Although I can now do that and add insult to injury on this boss. Because that that is the true spirit of how we can destroy Sorath, the Frostbiter, better than I've ever destroyed this sucker before. Nah. I mean, we could, but. One thing I like about this strat is like with the regular spider, like. There's, okay, here's the deal. HP burn, especially something that can deal continuous HP burn, really destroys this boss. Like, really bad. This doesn't look it. But if I add a little more burst in here, like an Armager, just you watch. This thing will melt. It's like he can't escape the burn. Normally, this is a much longer fight, and it's not confirmed. Because when you're fighting it, 
Like, you can never guarantee whether you're going to win. But yeah, I, I do think that Drexthar may very well allow me to just clear this whole tower straight up. Because, yeah, I'd never be able to do it like this before. As long as we keep the burn... Okay, we don't, so I have to try to burn him again. And we can even heal the whole party. Don't know why the burn didn't go up. Well, the Kabatic Winds is all you needed, really, because Kabatic Winding Star is your doom. Where the hell is that thing not dying? It's about it's about time. And here's the dealio with this thing. There's no coming back. Once you get the once you get that sucker just dies. Literally, and the next episode we'll be continuing up the Doom Tower.